you mentioned experience at wide receiver, but uh, I'm hearing about one guy, Jamarcus Weston, who yeah. has hardly any experience. He's got one catch in his career in the Cotton Bowl, but because of what he's flashing in the spring as one of the fastest players on the team, we may see a breakout player there. Yeah, Mark, um, uh, Mullen surprised us all a bit. One of his first spring media press conferences saying, yeah, Jamarcus Weston is the fastest player on the team. And I was like, whoa, okay. You know, you got you got Xavier Henderson and Jacob Copeland at wide receiver and Demarcus Bowman in the backfield and and all that. And Jamarcus Weston, well, he wasn't even really thought to be a speedster coming out of uh, high school uh, there. So uh, kind of took us back a little bit. I know Florida ran some combine uh, some just some fun combine stuff last week, and I think he ran the second fastest forty on the team. Uh, and it came out uh, during spring as well. He lined up in the Wildcat uh, for, for for the Gators as well. So you know, Mullen maybe getting creative and trying to find some speed at some positions to to, to get some more points uh, down there. Now I don't know how much we'll see him at, at, at Wildcat. I'm not sure why you kind of just get so predictable on offense. If you put him back there, more than likely you're running. You put Emory Jones back there, he can probably do a whole lot of the same thing. You put Anthony Richardson back there, he can probably do a whole lot of the same thing and leave the threat of a pass that's still happening as well. So, now I don't know how much we'll see it. You know, I think you, you do it a couple of times and see if he can just bust a big play uh, if he really is that fast and use speed to his advantage. But, yeah, I know he was – when he was recruited, Mark, he was – uh, asking around the program, a, a young receiver that Dan Mullen and Billy Gonzalez really liked uh, and liked what he uh, was able to do has probably taken, a, with knowing that, has probably taken a little bit longer to get on the field than uh, maybe maybe thought with guys like uh, Trent Whittemore who come in in the same class, got some more playing time uh, last year before he was injured. So, but yeah, Weston's a guy definitely looking out for, especially if all the, all the talk of his speed is out there true. If there's one thing Dan Mullen can do is get the ball in playmakers' hands, and if the guy's got a speed like that, Mullen will take advantage of it. 